or the Los Angeles Lakers, this was an all too familiar scene. Though they had reached the final seven of the last nine years, each trip had ended in agonizing defeat. It was the most disgusting personal period I've ever had in my life. I won, wanted to win a championship. And I really didn't think that that was ever going to happen. With Elgin Baylor's retirement prior to the 1972 season, it began to look like time had passed the aging Lakers by. Now I'm playing with a Laker team that has the great Jerry West, who was in his twilight, and Will Chamberlain, who was in his twilight, and Gil Goodrich as well, who was the star of the team, and, and, and names that uh, you would even not even know. I can't even tell you who the heck they actually were. They <laughs> just said, we did not have uh, this awesome talent. Now a less overpowering team, these Lakers would have to redefine their roles, and newly appointed Captain Will Chamberlain would lead the way. I was now the defensive hub of the team, and that was what my job was all about, getting the ball and playing defense and giving the ball to these guys. So it just kind of all worked out really, really, really well. And as we meshed, we amassed uh, numbers that were, they were unbelievable. Playing off Wilt, the other Lakers were each at the top of their game. And none flourished more than Goodrich and West. Combining to score over 52 points per game, they made the Lakers almost impossible to stop. All of a sudden, this team started winning basketball games. And we went along and went along and went along. One month went by, two months went by. When you get to 17, 18, 19 wins, now people are saying, like, wow, can they ever, ever lose? Piling up victory after victory, the Lakers became more cohesive with every game. We did everything the way the coach wanted and everything worked for us. And it got to be almost funny because we knew no one could beat us. I mean, we felt invincible. For 33 straight contests, the Lakers were invincible. As they compiled a modern-day sports record win streak, they would go on to win 69 regular season games, the most in NBA history. But the Laker veterans knew that the postseason would be their time of judgment. I always felt that Wilt, in some respects, has gotten a, a bum rap for not winning more championships. Wilt Chamberlain, like Jerry West, was a, probably the best runner-up in most occasions. Despite their magnificent season, these Lakers knew that if they failed to lift their finals hex, they would be remembered only as losers. As they had in 1970, they would face the Knicks. But this year, there would be no miracle upsets. The Lakers were also Rams no longer. Dispatching New York in five games, they would go down in history as one of the NBA's greatest winners. Goodrich passes under to Wilt. He's got it. He puts it up and slams up. Slams up this was something that I'd hoped and wished for in the earlier days of my career. And it was wonderful. We finally won. For the LA team to do what they did, I still think that they did more in the game of basketball than the other, other teams with the talent that they had.